The discovery of an ultramassive black hole sends chills beyond the scientific community, revealing a cosmic terror surpassing all others in space. This behemoth, merging over one billion solar masses, emerged startlingly early in our universe's history, prompting a re-evaluation of their significance. With black holes existing before galaxies and far larger than previously conceived, the universe's narrative takes a profound shift. Join us on a voyage to explore these formidable yet enigmatic entities, the most potent, perilous, and diminutive black holes in existence. Their diversity remains largely unknown to many, but now, scientists recognize black giants as pivotal cosmic entities. Once mere theoretical constructs, black holes emerged as solutions to Albert Einstein's equations, suggesting collapsed objects of immense scale. Coined by John Archibald Wheeler in the 1960s, the term black hole gained substance with the discovery of the first Cygnus X1, confirming their existence. Initially perceived as remnants of stellar collapse, black holes were anticipated by Einstein's equations, predicting the logical conclusion of certain cosmic phenomena. When stars perish, they either explode into supernovae, leaving behind rapidly spinning neutron stars or collapsing into black holes. While neutron stars offer measurable characteristics, black holes harbor numerous enigmas. Typically ranging from 5 to 20 solar masses, these stellar remnants, like Cygnus X1, epitomize the category. As the oldest and most scrutinized astronomical entity, Cygnus X1 exemplifies the essence of these enigmatic cosmic entities. Medium gravity black holes can grow to impressive sizes ranging from 100 to 10,000 times the mass of our Sun, pushing the boundaries of our imagination. A notable example is HLX-1, located in the galaxy ESO 243-49, boasting a mass of approximately 10,000 solar masses, likely formed through the merger of numerous stellar black holes. Now, let's delve into the grandeur of supermassive black holes, which amass millions to billions of solar masses. To put it into perspective, if our Sun weighs about 2 trillion kilograms, a supermassive black hole averages around 30 trillion kilograms. These cosmic behemoths, such as Sagittarius A asterisk at the heart of our Milky Way weighing about 4 million solar masses, and M87 asterisk in the galaxy M87 surpassing even that, combining a staggering 6.5 billion solar masses, command awe and reverence. Yet, beyond these colossal entities lie even more formidable and perilous black holes. Researchers were astounded to discover ultramassive black holes, exceeding the previous limits of supermassive ones. T618 stands as a chilling testament to this reality, harboring a mass of up to 40 billion solar masses, situated at the nucleus of a potent quasar in the constellation Canes Venatici, approximately 10 billion light-years away from our Earth. Researchers have yet to directly observe the galaxy itself, as its brilliance is eclipsed by the immense luminosity of the central quasar. This is likely due to a massive accretion disk enveloping the ultramassive black hole. The material within this disk is being consumed, emitting light thousands of times brighter than all the galaxy's stars combined. But this isn't the universe's only surprise in terms of black holes. In 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope made a remarkable discovery at the universe's edge, a black hole so ancient and massive it may have originated from a prior universe. Did this black hole survive the cosmic cycle? Who would have anticipated that such astounding findings would revolutionize our scientific perspective? When the JWST first turned its precise instruments towards space in 2022, it immediately encountered a sensation, galaxies so ancient and grand they left researchers breathless. Yet, the JWST's state-of-the-art technology not only unveiled the oldest galaxies on record but also an enigmatic black hole that could redefine our understanding of the cosmos. Within the galaxy GN, Z11 lies one of the most elusive ultramassive black holes imaginable. As anyone familiar with physics or our videos knows, a galaxy with this redshift value is 13.4 billion years old. It's nothing short of miraculous that such an ancient galaxy already hosts a black hole of such staggering proportions. While GN Z11 appears ancient from our vantage point, 13.4 billion years ago, it was still in its infancy, just 400 million years post Big Bang. The quasar, initially discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope in 2016 and later scrutinized by James Webb, initially puzzled researchers. The high redshift of Z11 seemed surreal, challenging previous assumptions about the existence of mature galaxies in this era. 
However, Webb's measurements confirmed the galaxy, quasar, and central black hole's existence. A luminous galaxy and massive black hole mere centuries after the Big Bang are indeed perplexing. How did this black hole attain such colossal size in just 400 million years? To achieve such growth, it must have either formed large or consumed matter at an unprecedented rate. In the early universe, however, there likely wasn't sufficient matter in the form of stars, according to researchers' models. Growing to this size should have taken several billion years, akin to the size of an atom. We've marveled at the colossal giants and black hole gods that defy our mathematical understanding. But what about the smallest black holes, as tiny as an atom? Primordial black holes, as researchers envision, may have originated directly after the Big Bang. Initially minuscule, these fluctuations may have merged over cosmic time, eventually encountering remnants of the first stars. This narrative of black hole growth has been the prevailing model in cosmology. However, the discovery of GN Z11 challenges these notions, suggesting black holes existed far earlier and in sizes previously unimaginable. One individual who may shed light on these colossal entities at the universe's edge is British researcher Roger Penrose. In 2015, he proposed a cyclical universe theory where one universe transitions into the next. At the end of each cycle, immense black holes consume nearly all matter, leading to a collapse and eventual rebirth. In expansions of this remarkable theory, it might even be conceivable that the remnants of black holes could serve as midwives or the genesis point of a fresh universe. Isn't that mind-boggling? Yet, the revelations from the JWST are currently elevating such hypotheses to profound significance. Our conventional cosmological framework is simply inadequate to elucidate the phenomena we observe in the cosmos. Are black holes truly being generated in Geneva? Indeed, they are. Scientists at CERN in Geneva have verified that miniature black holes can be generated in their experiments utilizing the LHC. These phenomena occur when particles collide at exceedingly high velocities within an underground ring. The collision of opposing particle streams yields captivating occurrences in matter, scrutinized at the LHC, wherein, for fleeting moments, black holes are also produced. However, these miniature black holes have hitherto only been theoretically predicted, their empirical validation remains outstanding. Even if they do exist, they disintegrate so rapidly that they purportedly pose no discernible threat. Detractors of the project, however, contend that we may not fully comprehend the potential ramifications of these diminutive black holes. They express apprehension that the experiments conducted at the particle accelerator carry risks and even entertain fears that unnoticed dimensional gateways could be unlocked, potentially altering our reality in perilous ways. Previously, it was speculated that black holes might serve as wormholes or conduits to alternate worlds or dimensions. Presently, such conjectures are largely deemed obsolete or debunked. An Einstein-Rosen bridge represents a theoretical construct outlining hypothetical connections between disparate points in the space-time continuum. Some scientists speculate that black holes in a mirrored or parallel universe could function as white holes, recycling the matter they engulf. Practically speaking, the workings within a black hole remain an enigma. Theoretically, we understand that a true black hole is a locus of infinite density, a concept that defies straightforward mathematical comprehension. Quantum physics dictates that matter in our universe can only be broken down into its informational constituents but cannot be entirely obliterated. So, do black holes amass vast quantities of information within their confines? If so, it would be intriguing to ascertain the fate of this information. Perhaps Roger Penrose's conjecture holds merit, black holes may serve as custodians of the universe. As matter completes its life cycle, they preserve the cosmos information, which is subsequently disgorged upon the commencement of a new cycle, engendering new stars and galaxies.